Sometimes you look at someone you know and something seems a little different, but you just cannot quite put your finger on it. Lip filler injections, when performed well, can provide a seamless enhancement that is hard to spot. It can be hard to tell if someone has had lip injections if you haven't seen their pictures pre-injection. In many cases, lip injections look so natural and proportionate that it can look like someone just has slightly fuller lips. There are times, however, when someone's lip fillers look obvious and not in a good way. Here's how to tell if someone has had lip injections even if you've never seen them before. If you were wondering what it may look like if someone has just had lip filler treatment or what it would look like to others from their perspective if you did, there are a few things that can sometimes be noticeable immediately after the procedure. If you're familiar with a person, you may notice the increase in lip size, especially if they have experienced a little swelling, which is a common side effect that is associated with lip enhancement. They may also have some minor bruising on the lips. This can also be a sign of a recent lip filler treatment. These are the two most common side effects. They generally last no more than a few days and are usually quite minor. Assuming you don't get to see bruises and swelling, how do you tell if someone has had lip injections? First, their lips look stiff. When someone has lip filler injections, they are basically making their lips swell to make them look fuller. Anything swollen is bound to feel more rigid. When a person who has had lip fillers either smiles, talks or eats, their lips often do not move as much. That is because an extra filling in their lips prevents them from moving their lips naturally, so the lips look stiffer. This is particularly true if the person gets their lip filler cheap. There are over 250 brands of dermal fillers in Europe and practitioners who offer cheap lip fillers tend to use fillers which emphasize too much on volume and lift, thereby causing the lips to look stiff and unnatural. Second, they look like they are permanently pouting. As mentioned previously, injectors who charge as little as £150 for lip fillers tend to use fillers which are viscous because they want to use as little as possible for the maximum lift. As a result, your lips can look very pouty in an unnatural way. In addition, and especially coupled with the lack of skills and experience, these lip fillers cause the lips to protrude forward so much that they look like they are making a pouty face. Third, their cupid's bow becomes less prominent. While not everyone has a pronounced cupid's bow, you can barely see a cupid's bow on people who have gone overboard with the lip injections. Lip filler injections can alter the shape of the lips and sometimes not in a good way. When they are overdone, the natural curvature of the cupid's bow stretches out to accommodate the extra mass on the lips. This is not always a reliable telltale sign, however because some people go the extra mile by having additional injections to ensure that the cupid's bow stays intact. However, since this is a tricky procedure, it is not always executed well. Fourth, the skin on their lips looks stretched. Lips naturally have lines and creases. The skin on the lips is naturally thinner than the rest of the face. However, since the lips move a lot, it has tiny lines that can stretch out when smiling or opening the mouth. When someone gets lip injections, especially when viscous lip filler is injected, these lines may diminish or disappear completely. That is because the skin stretches out to accommodate the fillers. Keep in mind though that some people simply have smooth lips with less prominent lines. However, when someone wishes to make their lips significantly fuller through injections, the lips on their skin stretches so much that it can sometimes look like level burst. 
This sign is more obvious on people who had thin lips and had lip fillers to make their lips super full. Last but not least, the ratio between the upper and lower lips is off. The lower lip is usually much fuller than the upper lip in people who haven't had lip fillers. However, some people prefer a more pronounced upper lip than the lower lip, or some people ask to have the upper lip to be equal in size as the bottom lip. When the proportion is off, it can be a sign that someone has had lip injections. This is especially true when they have had lip injections only in the upper lip. This is one of the most telling signs that someone has had lip injections. You can compare the texture of the upper lip and lower lip as well as the proportion. When the upper lip seems a lot heavier than the lower lip in a way that is almost unnatural, it is an almost sure sign that someone has had lip injections. In summary, lip fillers do not have to look unnatural. They are too often wrongly associated with the overfill and all too noticeable pouts. However, lip fillers indeed can look natural and age appropriate when they are performed by a skilled hand and the balance of the rest of your face is taken into account. Remember this, bad lip fillers are noticeable, good lip fillers aren't.